when I started doing these stupid things and writing this stupid code, I was like, you know, if there's going to be one thing that I'm going to do, it's that I am going to make Timon and Pumbaa's Virtual Safari G Tour in web form. If anything else, like, you know, my life would be complete. And you know what? I finally did it. <gasps> Woo! Let's go. You know, and I'm gonna, I'll, I'll just take you on a little tour myself around my uh, version. You're welcome. What description do you need of Timon and Pumbaa's virtual safari G tour? <laughs> that only that it's the best DVD extra game that ever, like, <sighs> you know, just, if you don't know what it is, you know, use uh, in the good old days when you had your little uh, square uh, DVD remote that's powered by a watch battery and uh, pretty much all the game is, is, you know, left and right buttons. But it's like, you know, you feel like, you know, as a kid, you have feel empowered over the choices you have control over Timon and Pumbaa's and you have, you're, you're scared because you feel like, you know, you're in the reins of their life, you're controlling their destiny. And, you know, as, as a young child sitting cross-legged on the floor, you know, it's like, oh no, I don't want to die, you know, oh, and best thing ever, best, you know, better than a Mission Impossible movie, it's, oh, oh, oh it just touches you in the heart, you know, and so, you know, I, I, I knew, you know, it, it just had to be done. So going through this code real quick, set up a normal, pretty normal standard HTML file. You got your uh, you got your buttons for choosing the left and the right option. You have your video element that will house the uh, the videos that will need to be uh, switched out. And so this one right here, this source right here, is the uh, dummy video uh, I put in. And we're going to be using JavaScript in order to switch the videos out. And uh, the way I got the different videos, of course, the idea is is that in order for me to make this work. I need to have uh, different videos uh, so that you know the choices would vary in the you know uh, hitting a specific button would take you uh, into one video and another button would take you into a different video and so that's pretty much how I went about the whole idea of the choices and so and this footer down here is just like you know I didn't steal from Disney you know I, uh, don't come after me uh, you know uh, I don't want money <laughs> uh, so pre uh, so CSS you know have a uh, font family of bals balsamic sands across sort of like weirdish cartoonish font uh, container we put everything into a container containers 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 CSS for the uh, start button uh, hover effect for the start button and then width for a hundred percent um for the video uh because we want the uh video uh element to be responsive uh do, 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 option buttons uh css boom 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 and then here's the uh the media queries and everything that we need in order to make the rest of the page you know everything responsive make sure it works on mobile Right here is pretty important, and this lets us know, uh, or lets the uh, document and the website know whenever the uh, the website, um, if the person is on a phone and is in landscape. That's what this orientation landscape is. And so we don't want like uh, the header taking up space, and we want the uh, buttons to be bigger because I want like it to be easy whenever you know somebody's watching the videos it takes them out of full screen which I'll be able to show you in JavaScript um, I was able to do that where it takes you out of full screen automatically and shows you the buttons we want those buttons to be big so you're not like hitting like super minuscule like buttons trying to you know and you accidentally mess up something you know we don't need the header to be taking up empty space you know that's pretty much it here's the JavaScript so you assign everything to variables 
uh, will assign everything that you need to variables. Uh, you know, don't want assign like every uh, stupid thing. You know, <laughs> and then the switch statements is like the the meaty juicy parts, the meaty juicy parts of our code, and that's pretty much how the uh, the choices get done. There is a separate uh, switch statement. Uh, here, wait. This is uh, this switch statement is for whenever the uh, video ends. And so that would be depending on the type of video, uh, if the buttons should show up or not, because there's some where it's like uh, the video end, but it there shouldn't be any choices. And so it goes directly on to the, uh, the next video. Um, that should be the corresponding, you know, uh, video. And then here we have, this is the first, this is the left button uh switch statement and so this is like uh oh and by the way these cases are the uh tally sort of that goes throughout the whole experience and that's this uh state uh variable and pretty much the way it works is that you know this lets us know like sort of like which video uh you're at and what should happen depending on the video corresponding video so should it be showing buttons should it be hiding buttons should it you know be you know going to the next video stuff like that and at the end of each case it adds one to the state and so it's able to uh, go on to whatever corresponding one of course you know keeps that tally and then here's the right button of course add event listener click whenever the right buttons clicked and then this here is the uh, sources of all the videos I split up and edited in DaVinci Resolve and this is like, it, it goes in it, uh, this show video function that's within the uh, switch statements. I wrote this so that it, it's not me like, you know, writing the whole like source and everything. And this is an array. And so the show video takes an index, um, like a number and goes into the array and finds that video that I need. And it, it just looks a lot cleaner with this compared to uh, something super long, including this on like each line. And it's, you know, makes everything a whole lot easier. And then this is the uh, open full screen function. And this makes sure that no matter what browser, opening full screen works. So you can see that uh, once you choose something, the buttons hide and you automatically go into full screen. And then uh, there is also, besides the open full screen, there's also the closed full screen function. And so, like I said, that's, you know, browser friendly and everything. Especially, also mobile too. I really wanted to work on mobile. That would kind of suck. And suck. And so pretty much just like, uh, where is it? Closed full screen. Yeah, yeah, it's right here, right here, right here. Yeah, and so, uh, just like choices, you know, uh, Whenever the buttons pre uh, appear pretty much, that's of course you want full screen so you can actually see the buttons. So that's what that's there for. And yeah, I mean, it's nothing crazy. Uh, I'm not super experienced or super like, you know, to, there's a bunch of different ways you could be doing this. You don't have to use the switch statement at all, which is this thing. You know, you could be to using totally different stuff, you know, and that's pretty much what's neat about like me trying to experiment with this and try to attempt this project because I knew that there's going to be different ways. It's just like, you know, what am I going to end up doing? You know, what will I think will be the most efficient for me, you know? And because uh, I sort of knew what I needed to accomplish. It's just like, how do I put that into the form of code? So, and this is the final product. We have our start button. And it's not, this isn't the final version, sort of like stylist. Uh, style of the site you know I, I want to add like leaves and make everything cool and maybe even change some of the colors you know but you can see the disclaimer down here you know start button you know the title the header I mean you know and everything so let's start this up see as it goes full screen you know we hear the audio I also wanted to let you have the controls the person and yeah that's pretty much it you know I'm not gonna show you the whole thing you know Leave you to decide to go through the experience yourself, you know, leave the choices up to you. Alright, this is pretty much it. 
You all have a fantastic day, night, morning, everything. All right? Tap on that like button. Thank you very much.